Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing great. I hope you're all prepping up, putting your best foot forward for the upcoming D-Day. A lot of people were texting me to get some videos on probability. So here I am. My name is Sudhanshu, graduated in finance and marketing from IIM Lucknow and I'll be helping you with probability. First off, a couple of things. If you've done PNC, then well and good. If you've not done PNC basics, revise the PNC basics. In one video, we have covered the PNC basics and some key questions also. Pro probability is very much dependent on PNC and hence doing PNC first will always make sense. And that's also the reason why I'm making this video a little later, right? In this part, we'll be covering the basics and in the next part, we'll be covering some advanced concepts like conditional and Bayes theorem. So let's begin with the first part. Now, first off, before we understand probability and the questions, let us understand a key things about a pack of cards. I think most of you will already know, but there are four suits, spades, heart, diamond and club. Spade and club are the black suits. Heart and diamond are the red suits. Some of you may always, you know, may already be Juaris. Okay. Uh, so you already know it, right? Anyways, you know, in the B school you will become. So don't worry about it. Now talking about the face cards. So you've seen th there are three cards where you will see faces. For example, you say, the, you know, there is a king, there is Jack and there is queen, right? So these are called face cards. So in every suit, you will have three face cards. So there are four suits and every in every suit you will have three. So therefore 12 face cards, right? I hope this is clear to you. Okay. So now I'm making a video where I'm helping you understand these cards. After you get into your B school, we'll do a video where we'll help understand poker also separately. Okay. Now let's try and solve the questions. One thing which is very, very important. I actually kafi bar probability khud se bhi padne. Uh, ke liye start kiya tha, but because of definitions, exhaustive, non-exhaustive, mutually independent, exclusive, etc. Ke chakkar mein kai baar probability beech mein gaya. So let's understand probability through questions only. Okay. And one absolute basic of probability is that probability is equal to favorable event upon total event. Let me give you a very simple example. If you, you know, toss a coin, you can either get a head or a tail. So total number of events is two that in case of a fair coin, you will either get a head or get a tail. Let's say you want a head, then your favorable event is heads, getting a head, right? So if you toss a coin, then you get a head one out of two times. So the probability is one upon two. You get head once and total events is you can get a head or you can get a tail. So that's is two. That's the absolute basic that you require for probability. And you can solve all the other questions if PNC basics are there. Let us now try and test it. Probability like PNC is also not something that you can memorize. Okay. So as you know, as clearly as you can understand through this video, you will be better off as far as probability is concerned. So let's see. One card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Now, every outcome is equally likely. So drawing every card will have a probability of one upon 52, right? So calculate the probability that the card will be a diamond, right? So there are 13 cards that are diamond. So probability of getting a diamond will be total number of cards that is 52 total number of cards in diamond is 13. So your favorable is 13 and total is 52. So the answer to this question is one by four not an ace. Now, in every suit, you will have one ace. So you'll have one ace here, one ace here, one ace here and one ace here. So there are four ace. So what is the probability of not having an ace? That is the other remaining 48 cards out of 52 cards. So that becomes 12 upon 13. Probability of getting an ace will be what? 4 upon 52, which is 1 upon 13. So always remember probability of an event happening and probability of this event not happening will add up to one. Right. Talking about a black card, a black card is a spade or a club. So in a spade club combined, you will have 26 cards out of total 52. So probability of getting a black is 26 upon 52. That is half. 
again not a diamond probability of getting a diamond will be what 13 cards in diamond out of total 52 so probability of getting a diamond is one fourth so probability of not getting a diamond will be three fourth right probability of getting a face card we've seen how many face cards 12 face cards out of total 52 so the probability is 3 upon 13. I hope the basics about pack of cards and drawing a card number of cards is absolutely clear to you. Moving forward, a bag contains 9 discs of which 4 are red, 3 are blue, 2 are yellow. The discs are similar in shape and size, so identical discs. A disc is drawn at random from the bag, calculate the probability that will be red, yellow etc. One very very important aspect and one key difference between PNC and probability. Let's say you have three blue balls, right? And they are identical. In case of PNC, if I ask you in how many ways can you select a ball, you will tell me there is one way. Why? Because all the balls are identical. No matter which one you choose, it is just one case. That's the major difference between PNC and probability. Here, it is not about choosing that one ball. Right? Here, when you are talking about probability, right? So then you will count it as three ways or three number of cases. Let me give you a very simple example. Let's say in this case, four balls are red, three are blue, two are yellow. So what is the probability that you know, you get a, uh, you draw out, a, draw a bag and draw a ball and it becomes red. Right, so you draw a red ball. What is the probability here? That is very simply, there are four balls that are red, three are blue and two are yellow. So the probability of getting a red ball will be four upon four plus three plus two, which is nine. It is not one out of nine, it is four out of nine. So in case of probability, you will count all four because there are, there, you know, actually when you conduct an experiment, in nine ways, in nine draws, you will get four red balls or four red discs over an extended number of samples, right? So here it becomes four upon nine. That's a very important difference. What will be yellow? Similarly, two upon nine. What will be blue? Three upon nine. Not blue? Six upon nine, right? So obviously very, very simple. So what will be, what will be so in this case, what will be not blue? Not blue obviously will become 6 upon 9. Either red or blue. Again, this is very interesting. Either red or blue. Now, either red or blue. One very, very important theory. Okay. So you will, we are revising theory with questions. Okay. So either red or blue. So probability of A union B. What is Union means, union means either A or B. And it is given as probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Right? Let's understand it through a set, through a Venn diagram. So what is the probability of A? This, let's say this is A, this is B. What does A union B represent? A union B represents, you know, all of this entirely effectively it is probability of a this entire you know set probability of b this entire set minus probability of a intersection b minus the intersection why do we minus the intersection because think about it it this intersection is being counted twice when you are when you are taking a and when you are taking b also this intersection is coming twice so hence you will subtract it so that you can take this only A, only B and both A and B, right? So here, either red or blue, either red or blue, probability of red, either red or blue, right? So that will become probability of red plus probability of blue minus probability of red intersection blue. Now, can a ball be red? Can a ball be blue at the same time? The answer is no. Such events are called mutually exclusive or mutually independent events. I hope this is clear to you. It's very easy to understand these things with examples rather than bombarding someone with a theory. 
right so probability of red in or or blue will be probability of red plus probability of blue so what is the probability of red 4 by 9 what is the probability of blue 3 by 9 so what's the answer either red or blue just add the probabilities that will become 4 plus 3 upon 9 so 7 upon 9 that's the last one i hope this is clear to you moving forward two students anil and ashima appeared in an examination the probability that anil will qualify the exam is 0.05 and ashima will qualify is 0.1 the probability that both will qualify is 0.02 again let's draw the venn diagram as we have done in the last question to understand it more clearly anil ashima probability of them passing right Probability that both will pass is 0.02. So this part is 0.02. Only Anil will become 0.05 minus 0.02. So only Anil is 0.03. Ashima overall is 0.1. So only Ashima will be 0.01 minus 0.02 which is 0.08. Right? Overall probability is 1. Right? The probability can maximum become equal to 1. So probability is maximum equal to 1. So that is clear. Let's look at the question. Both Anil and Ashima will not qualify the exam. Both will not qualify. What region is that? Outside the sets. This region. This region outside the sets. How do you calculate it? Very simple. You know this is 0 0.03. This is 0 0.02. This is 0 0.08. This becomes 0 0.13. Total is 1. So this part is 1 minus 0.13. So 0 0.87. So that's the first question, 0 0.87. Probability is as simple as you make it. Don't rectify it. Understand it. It's not very difficult. At least one of them will not qualify. Right? Okay. At least one of them will not qualify. So how do you calculate it? You know that both will qualify. The probability is 0 0.02. So at least one of them will not qualify. What is the answer? Both will not qualify, which is 0.87. One of them will qualify, which is 0 0.03 and 0 0.08. That is one way to do it, 0 0.87 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.08. The other, the answer here is 0.98. The other way to do it is subtract both will do it, 1 minus 0 0.02. So that the answer is 0 0.98. So both ways you can do this. Only one of them will qualify. So one of them will qualify so it will either be anil or ashima so only anil the probability is 0 0.03 only ashima the probability is 0 0.08 so what's the answer here for the last one 0.11 hope this is clear to you very conceptual problem made very very easy i hope this is clear move forward a committee of two persons is selected from two men and two women what is the probability that committee will have no man now, in, so there are four people here. In how many ways can I form a committee of two? The answer is 4C2. That's basic permutation combination. So the number of, total number of ways is six. So total number of events here is six. I don't have to get any man in the first example. So, which basically means that there are two women. I have to take two women. Only possibility. So one possibility. So what is the probability of no man? One by six. Probability of two men. So both are men. So no women. It's just the same case. One by six. And one man. So probability of one man will be what? So very simply. Total number of cases is six. One man means you select. From two men you select one man. Two C1. And from two women you select one woman. So two C1. So that becomes two into two upon six. Which is four upon six. Which is two upon three. Let's move ahead. On her vacations, Veena visits four cities, A, B, C, D in a random order, right? So there is first, second, third and fourth. We don't know which one is first, which one is second, which one is third. What is the probability that she visits A before B? Always remember, common sense is going to help you in cat. Dahi, good, shakkar is all good, but common sense is the most important. See, yeah, this is very, very simple. If there are no constraints, Okay, and think about it. The chances are that half the time A will be before B 
and half the time b will be before a very simple therefore a before b the probability is 1 by 2 without actually getting into favorable events total events a before b half the number of cases next case a before b and b before c this is interesting so i have four positions here let's for a b and c let us select three positions from four positions in how many ways can i select three positions 4c 3 let's say i have selected three positions now i can't arrange them the three people they have to come in a certain order which is abc so the number of arrangements is only one divided by total number of ways see there are four places and there are you know there are four ways of, or four order so there is 1 2 3 4 there are four spots and four places how many ways can i arrange it four factorial so 4c3 is 4 4 factorial is 24 the answer is 1 by 6 so the second one is sorted a first and b last again very simple place a here place b here the other two can arrange here either cd or dc so total number of ways is 2 so favorable is two cases total is 4 factorial so therefore 2 upon 24 which is 1 upon 12 a either first or second now very simply think about it the probability of a coming first position is is 1 by 4 right the probability of a coming second position is 1 by 4 probability of a coming third position is 1 by 4 and probability of a coming in the fourth position is 1 by 4 so either first or second so either first or second the probability is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 i am sure you all know principle of addition and multiplication and you have revised it right it's there in the pnc video if you have not seen it check it out a just before b this is very interesting case so let's say there are four cases here let's say there are four places here 1 2 3 4 four spots a just before b can be a b this way can be a b this way can be a b this way right in this case the other two can arrange in two ways in this case also the other two can arrange in two ways in this case also the other two can arrange in two ways so total number of arrangements is 6 and and so total number of favorable arrangements is 6 and total number of arrangements is 24 so the answer is 1 by 4 a very very good example to understand probability basics i hope this is clear to you as well moving forward find the probability that when a hand of 7 cards is drawn from a well packed well shuffled deck of 52 cards so total total number of ways will be 52 c7 without thinking anything now you are getting all kings possible so out of this 7 you have four kings and three anything else three remaining four kings how can i get how can i get four all four kings right and a remainder so if i have to get four kings the only possibility is from all the four kings there are four kings and there are remaining 52 cards right so from four kings i have to get all four so 4c4 and from the remaining 48 from the remaining 48 i have to get three more cards so 48c3 and i will multiply why will i multiply again there is an and scenario that's what principle of addition and multiplication is all about so that's the first case three kings what will be three kings from the so there are four kings and there are 48 other cards from four kings i have to get three kings so 4c3 and from the remaining 48 now i have to get four cards so 48c so and that divided by 52c7 at least 3 kings at least 3 kings will be 3 kings or 4 kings so you just add for the third case just add first and second i hope this is also clear to you let's have a look at one more case in a relay race there are five teams a b c d and e what is the probability that a b c finish first second and third respectively so there are five positions 1 2 3 4 5 right now a b c have to finish first second and third only order see there are five teams and there are five spots 
so total number of ways will be 5 factorial a b c have to finish first second and third so a b and c this is sealed no one can change it now d and e can arrange in 4 and 5 can be only two cases d e or e d so therefore so the number of what is the probability or the favorable events or the favorable ways in which this can happen is 2 so 2 upon 120 which is 1 upon 60 so the first one is sorted right what is the probability that a b c are first three to finish in any order now now the game opens and you know the probability will improve now think about it i have to get a b c here in the first three place the number of ways will be three factorial i have to get d and e in the last two places so two factorial i will multiply these cases because i have to do this and i have to do this so three factorial into 2 factorial divided by total is 5 factorial so 3 factorial is 6 2 factorial is 2 5 factorial is 120 so the answer is 110 i hope this is clear to you right with that we come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it make your notes keep it handy for revision later on and do join the next video for conditional and base theorem thanks god bless you all bye bye